Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to an intermediate to advanced cardiovascular interval yoga class. Today we're going to focus on building strength, endurance and flexibility at the same time. I'm incorporating high intensity interval work throughout the practice, so stay strong, focus on your breath, stay centered. And if your body tells you you need a break, you need to rest, honor it. Let's begin at the front of our mat. Coming to the front edge of your mat, feet are either hip width apart or feet together. Toes are pointing forward. Spread your toes open, lift your arches. Open the palms of your hands forward and allow the shoulder blades to drop back in down into your back. Relax your shoulders, soften your face, soften your jaw, soften your gaze and begin to cultivate inner smile. Corners of the lips are smiling. Just a tiny little smile that maybe will carry throughout the rest of the day will stay with you. Inhale, big breath in through the nose, allowing the chest to expand. The back is wide. Exhale, soften. Allow your feet to sink into your mat. And let's open the arms out to the sides. Stay facing forward with your hips and turn over to your left. The hips are locked, they're still facing forward. You're just using the rotational power of your core and spine. Come back to center and over to the other side. You don't have to go really far here, just keep facing forward with your hips. Relax your shoulders, hands are reaching away from each other. Come back to center, reach all the way over your head, clasp your hands and reach over to one side, side bend and over to the other side, slight tuck in the tailbone, planting the feet, both feet equally into the floor, inhale, reach all the way up, exhale, flat back, release down into a forward bend. And you can shake your head here, yes and no, making sure there is no tension in your neck, upper back, shoulders. Inhale, look ahead of you, flat back, halfway up. And let's step back into plank. Nice strong plank, press your heels away from you, open your chest, look slightly ahead of you. Pull the belly in, and as you breathe, begin to connect with your core. Make a strong connection with your core mental and physical. Slowly lower down, Chaturanga hold. Inhale, upward facing dog hold. Roll the shoulders back and down, press your toes down into your mat. Tuck your tailbone under. Feel this extension in your back, in the upper back not just in your lower back, all throughout your spine. And let's press back through Chaturanga into a downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right leg comes up. And draw a few circles with your toes here in either direction. Let's open the right hip on top of the left hip. Bend your right knee and drop your right foot somewhere behind you. Keep your left heel down if you can. Hands are still equally pressing into the floor, shoulders are even aligned. And just explore here the flexibility of your hip. You can draw a few circles with your knee. And just really lift through your right knee. Next, we're gonna bring the knee into the nose or into the chest and really pull the belly in as we do that. One, second time, third time, four, 
five hold really pull your belly in really lift your knee as high as you can inhale extend your leg back behind you and let's switch sides left leg comes up and we can draw a few circles with the toes you can keep your leg straight you can bend your knee just really try to find fluidity in your body and let's roll the left hip on top of the right keep your right foot grounded bend your left knee lift the knee bring your toes behind you and really breathe into your hips spread open the palms of your hands keep your shoulders aligned and you can bend the knee and draw a few circles with your knee and prepare for knee tucks on the left side knee tucks in downward facing dog pulling the belly as close to your nose as you can extend the leg behind and let's bring it back in extend bringing it in exhaling inhaling as you extend two more last one and hold hold the knee high into your chest inhale the leg behind you and step it back behind you back into downward facing dog Adho Mukha Svanasana and let's bring the left hand across see if you can grab your right ankle with your left hand and look under the opposite shoulder and switch sides looking under the left shoulder this time breathe into your spine Soften your belly, this is a twist. And coming back into downward facing dog, reconnecting with your core. And let's bring the shoulders over the wrists, plank. Pull your belly in. Great, and let's walk the feet to the front of the mat. Exhale, bow down. Paschimottanasana. inhale and sit back in chair pose coming up in chair pose hold chair press your hips back inhale come up to standing clasp your hands and bend over to one side and over to the opposite side try to keep your feet grounded as you bend side to side exhale Diving forward, forward bend. Inhale, look ahead of you. And let's jump into Chaturanga. And upward facing dog. Roll the shoulders back and down, free the back of your neck pull the belly in extend the tailbone down breathe into your upper back and back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog coming back to your breath connecting with your core and next thing we're gonna come into a plank and bring the right foot into the left hand here just touch the foot to your hand and switch sides and we're gonna go for 10 so let's begin one two and continue three four keep your balance keep your gaze keep your focus six seven Keep your mind empty. Nine. Ten. And move into a vinyasa of chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Be vibrant. Open your chest. 
melt your heart forward let it melt let it open come on to your knees walk your hands to the front edge of your mat plant them there and sit back as far back as you can without moving your hands back in with you great and we're just gonna go into downward facing dog from here a quick spinal stretch inhale your right leg up flex your foot pull your toes back in towards you and down towards the floor step your right foot between your hands come up high lunge extend the tailbone down press your back heel away from you relax your shoulders palms of the hands facing each other and let's bring the chest over the right thigh release your left hand on the floor and you can spin on the outer edges of your feet here and feel this stretch into your hip let's stack the feet on top of each other come into side plank optional star side plank hold keep your hips lifted sides lifted and coming back to plank and chaturanga upward facing dog back to chaturanga exhale and downward facing dog and take the left leg up flex your toes step your left foot between your hands come up high lunge stay strong and focused stay in the moment just observe your breath observe the moment Bring the chest over the left thigh and spin right hand on the floor, left arm is reaching up, try to press your left hip back, spin on the other edges of your feet and come into side plank on the left side, shoulder has to be exactly over your right wrist, start side plank, stay lifted, don't let your hips sag here. Great, and a vinyasa, upward facing dog. Really breathe into your upper back. And extended puppy pose, plant your hands at the edge of your mat and sit back. And let's come onto all fours. And we're gonna glide the right hand underneath and across from our body bringing the back of the right shoulder on the floor and the back of the head breathe into your shoulder here come back out switch sides soften your belly melt the back of your shoulder into your mat let it really soften and be heavy on your mat. And come back out of it. Let's bring the knees hip width apart. Bring your hands on your lower back, fingers pointing up ideally. Walk your elbows in towards you. And begin to open the chest up really focus here on actually opening the heart up towards the ceiling rather than going back press your hips forward to stress on a camel pose and take a break from it in child's pose stay with your breath let's come back up second time camel pose begin to lead with your hips if you feel like it you can bring your hands down on your ankles but try to maintain the alignment here hips forward and hips over the knees try not to sit back as you grab your ankles when you're done 
you can sit back in child's pose downward facing dog Adho Mukha Svanasana and let's stretch the toes here you can bring the top of your toes on your mat and really stretch your toes with gentle pressure switching sides Great. Jump your feet forward into chair pose. Clasp your hands behind you. Look over your left shoulder. Back to center. Over the right shoulder. Back to center. And one more time, over to the left, keep your hips back and knees aligned. And over to the right, the knees are square, the hips are square, the hips are back. And let's bring the hands over the head, coming out of it in mountain pose. Exhale, flat back, forward bend. Inhale, look ahead of you, flat back. and jump into chaturanga inhale upward facing dog hold it and you can look over one shoulder and then over the other exhale downward facing dog draw the belly in and up really great Downward facing dog is a great pose to connect with your core. Inhale, right leg up. Step your right foot between your hands. Come up, high lunge again. Hands over the heart. And let's bring the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Look over your right shoulder. Open the chest, widen the back, soften the belly. Keep the left leg vibrant. The left leg is working here, taking some of the weight back into the leg behind you. Focus on your exhalations. Every time you do a twist, always focus on your exhalations. Take a really nice strong lunge, bend your left knee towards the floor, tucking the tailbone under and we're gonna go for 5 in place jump lunges, just small hops here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, great, and bring your hands back down on the floor, move into a vinyasa, chaturanga, upward facing dog back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog take the left leg up step your left foot between your hands nice wide stance here and come up high lunge relax your shoulders extend your tailbone down keep your right heel straight up hands over the heart lengthen your spine exhale twist drop your shoulders down and really soften the belly as you exhale go deeper in this twist you will deepen your twisting poses beyond your wildest expectations if you learn to exhale when you practice them exhaling is in essence letting go so we're letting go of muscular holding patterns and we're allowing for the body to soften and yield into a pose, into a twist. Keep your chest open here.
Slowly come out of it. Inhale and prepare for little hops here. Jump lunges. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale the hands on the floor. Step into plank. Upward facing dog. Back to Chaturanga. Exhaling downward facing dog. Bring the right knee into the nose, pull your belly in and hold. Really draw your navel in, shift your shoulders forward over your wrists, hold and extend the leg behind you and step your foot between your hands, come up high lunge, chest over your right thigh, hands in prayer, twist lunge. And I just think twist lunge or transition from prayer into bound twist lunge. Look over your shoulder, press the back heel away from you. Release one hand on the floor, one up towards the ceiling, and you can transition into an arm balance scissor legs side crawl to side crawl and back scissor your legs out and come back into lunge coming back up keep the twist release your right hand down the left leg and lift let's bring both hands behind us Walk your hands down the left leg, open the chest up. Exhale, hands down on the floor, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, back to Chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take your left leg up. Bring your left foot between your hands, come up, lunge. Hands in prayer, lengthen the spine. Exhale. And either clasp or stay, stay in prayer. Keep your chest open, shoulders relaxed. Breath as relaxed as you can keep your breath. Either stay here in bound twist and lunge. We're going to an arm bones, scissor side crow, scissor legs, crow. Split your legs back out again and lunge one more time and come up, twist, walk your hand down the right leg, walk both hands down the right leg and release. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, back to Chaturanga, exhale downward facing dog and let's bring the left knee into the nose, hold it, bring your shoulders over your wrists and extend the leg back down, step it back down on the floor and we're gonna prepare now for the interval portion of this class. We're gonna come into plank and jump the feet forward towards the wrist, next to the wrist and back into plank. So plank jumps. And we're gonna go as quickly as we can, maintaining the alignment. 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. Get yourself ready and go. I'm gonna be using a crystal gong for the start and the end of each interval. Continue with your breath, focus on your alignment and rest child's pose.
In the next pose is gonna be elbow planks, jumping the feet to the left and right of your mat, either on the inside or outside of the mat. Prepare and let's begin. Hopping or jumping your feet side to side, left and right. Resting in child's pose, preparing again for plank jumps. Take the starting position in plank and prepare yourself. And let's begin. Jumping your feet forward towards your wrists and back into plank. Keep your belly in and go as quickly as you can as quickly as you can, maintaining alignment. Release, child's pose. And again, next pose or next interval is going to be elbow jumps side to side. And begin. your shoulders here, prepare for plank jumps. Moving as quickly as you can. Making sure that you're not completely out of breath. If you're completely out of breath, rest. And release. Get elbow planks. Side to side, belly in, breath steady or as steady as you can keep it. And rest. You can bring your hands back by your heels. Child's pose. Inhale your hands over your head. Come up downward facing dog. We're done with our first interval. We have four or three more to go. Four all together. Let's come on to the tippy toes. Jump your feet forward. Chair pose. Inhale. Standing. Reach over your head. Hands over the heart. Inhale, chair pose, reaching over your head. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, look ahead of you. Hands on the floor, jump back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Back to Chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog. Shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, right foot between the hands. Inhale, warrior one. Open warrior two. This is your resting period between the intervals. Take a nice deep warrior two, but come back to your breath. The focus is to come back to your breath in a steady vinyasa flow. And let's reverse the warrior. Walk the left hand down the left leg. Keep the right knee bent, reaching over. And let's come out of it into side angle. Exhale, hands on the floor. Lower the left knee on the floor. You can see how I'm walking my left knee away from my, my right foot or from the front of the mat here so that I'm taking a, a, 
the stance as wide as I can, tucking the tailbone under, extending it down towards my heel so that I can breathe and really go deep into that hip flexor area. We're access accessing here the psoas. Slightly there is different stretches for the psoas that are targeting the psoas a little more effectively. But this stretches the quadriceps. Great, coming out of it, move into a vinyasa. Down dog, up dog, chaturanga, and back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg comes up. Step your left foot between your hands and come up. Warrior one, opening into warrior two. Sink a little deeper, take a little wider stance here. Relax your shoulders, soften your palms, reverse your warrior. Keep the front knee bent, lengthen both sides of your torso. Come back out of it and exhale in side angle. Keep opening that right hip, externally rotating it. Reach all the way over your head. Find a long line between your fingertips and your foot. And release the hands on the floor, lower the right knee down. The part right above your kneecap is making a contact with the floor, not your kneecap. Try not to press or push on your knees or place unnecessary weight on your knees. The purpose of yoga is to strengthen our joints. Left knee is behind or over the left ankle again to protect our joints and strengthen them. demonstrated here it's gonna be chaturanga to opposite arm to leg lift alternating sides prepare yourself and we're gonna begin in plank strong core take your plank chaturanga and lifting you can modify here by just lifting your arms instead of arm and foot at the same time because there is a, quite a lot of balancing involved in here and we're not trying to be perfect in our balancing poses we're just trying to explore our balance and of interval and let's prepare for the next one which is squat jumps hands are touching the floor between the feet and coming up feet together you can see it demonstrated here And let's begin. Go as quickly as you can, push your hips back, knees back, back flat and straight and chest open, look slightly ahead of you. And rest in downward facing dog. And we're gonna prepare for the next interval, chaturanga to opposite hand to arm lift. Focus on your balance, focus on your breath. Do as much as you can. Balancing poses always teach us to accept our imperfections. And rest downward facing dog. Prepare yourself for squat jumps and begin. And 
and rest. Downward facing dog. Good job. Alright, last chaturanga to opposite arm to leg lift. Do your best. Breathe, look ahead of you. for squat jumps Shake your head, relax your jaw. Walk your hands forward to the front of your mat. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale, bring your right foot between your hands. Inhale, come up. Hands over the heart, warrior one to warrior two. little deeper in your warrior, reach way ahead of you and go into side angle. Here you can clasp, you can bring your hands behind you and clasp, holding a nice grip behind your leg. Keep working the left hip to open it and you can release the clasp hands on the floor, lower your left knee down on the floor, white stands here and breathe, we're deepening our hip flexor stretches, coming out of it, moving into a vinyasa, back to chaturanga and back to downward facing dog and let's take the left leg up, Step the left foot between your hands. Inhale your hands over your head. Exhale, warrior two. Reach way ahead of you and lower down side angle. Let's extend the right hand over the head. Open the right hip and you can clasp behind or stay in the previous level of this pose. If you clasp behind, experiment with going a little deeper in your lunge and working on your twist of course and release your hands on the floor. Forearms on the floor, working on this beautiful deeper level of quadriceps and hip flexor stretch. Exhale, exhale through your hip flexor and coming out a bit, coming up onto the hands. Step back into plank, lower down chaturanga, inhale upward facing dog, back to chaturanga, exhale downward facing dog. Pull your body in and up and let's prepare for the next round of um, interval work. This is going to be touching the floor in front of you in a deadlift with a straight back and coming up to standing with knee in the chest. Begin. And we're just going to alternate sides for the entire two minutes of work here. So do as many as you can, maintaining your perfect 
alignment deadlifts are the place where you really wanna align perfectly. Release in Uttanasana forward bend and prepare for the next side. Take your time, bend the standing knee if you need to. Make sure your back is completely straight. Keep your hips level. Touch the floor, come up to standing. Touch the floor, come up to standing. And release. Quick break in Uttanasana. And let's continue on the left side. Or right side left knee comes in alternating sides choose a gazing point in front of you and stay with this and you can stretch side bends in between before going over to the other side Great, we're done with the deadlifts. You can do a few side bends, reaching over to one side and over to the other, maintaining length on both sides of your torso here and planting your feet equally. Alignment in side bends is crucial. This is a demonstration of the next exercise. It's gonna be side plank knee crunches. We're gonna bring same side knee to same side elbow. This is a demonstration. Prepare yourself in side plank and begin. Maintain your form and keep your hips lifted. Keep your hips on top of each other and have a steadiness to your moves. Be steady when you move. And release, prepare for the opposite side. Align your shoulder on top of your wrist and begin. Breathe. Really pull your belly in and contract your abdominals. Feel your core. Be strong in your moves. release switching sides and begin I'm trying not to touch my top toes to the floor in between crunches you can experiment with that of course it makes it a lot harder the balancing is a lot more challenging And switch sides. Repair. And begin. Maintaining your alignment, we're almost done with the cardiovascular portion, interval portion. And release in downward facing dog inhale your right leg up lifting through your right knee exhale bring your right leg down on the floor and align yourself for pigeon here you're gonna flex your right foot really make sure to flex your right foot and if you have to, bring your hands on your hips and see if they are uh, level with the floor. Look at them, see if they're equal distance from the floor. Make sure you're not tilting your weight over. Generally, people um, would um, tilt it here on the right side. 
and open the left hip out try to keep your hips level another way to make sure you're performing this pose right is extend your left leg behind you and if you extend your foot I'm flexing it here but if you extend your foot you're gonna have all five toes down the top of your toes the nail part of your toes on the floor all of them touching the mat that way you know your uh, leg is not spinning and the spinning begins from the hip. And focus on your breath. Really keep your spine elongated here. Keep your back flat. Try not to round the upper portion of your back. And focus on nice deep inhalations followed by complete exhalations. If your pigeon doesn't look very good to you, if it seems like you have a lot of work to just get to where it kind of feels comfortable, don't worry about it, don't judge yourself, stay in the moment and just try to stay in the place where the stretch is pleasant and you can maintain it. You can come up here and just look over to your right, keeping your chest open. And let's bring the hands in prayer, this is optional. Bringing the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Another variation is one hand on the floor, one reaching up. And release. Open the chest, mild back extension. Reach back, bend your left knee and bring it in. Bring the foot in, tuck the tailbone under. You can transition into a back bend variation here, tucking the foot within your inner elbow. Release, hands on the floor, one legged downward facing dog. Draw a few circles with your leg, with your knee here. Breathe into your hip, step your right leg back down and let's take the left leg up, roll the left hip on top of the right, bend your knee, drop your foot behind you and breathe into your hip, we're preparing the hip for a deeper hip opening. Great, and let's bring the leg back down, aligning the hips. Again, look at your hips, make sure your hips are level with the floor. Extending the leg behind you, the right leg behind you, flex your left foot. Extremely important to protect your knee. Really flex, pull the toes in. I'm even holding my foot to make sure it's in a good flexion, it's in a complete flexion. Lengthening the spine, keeping the rib cage lifted, and just find the space here that allows you to stay in the pose with no judgment. This will carry through the rest of your day in your life activities if you learn not to judge yourself, to accept yourself. This tends to teach us a lesson in general in life, how to treat ourselves. We're not looking for perfection in any pose, we're looking for acceptance, accepting ourselves just the way we are, finding perfection 
in our imperfections or never and our yoga and our poses are never going to be perfect never and that is a liberating feeling you're never going to be completely perfect in yoga so just enjoy the process just be present and enjoy the poses and let's come up walk your hands back in towards you and look over to your left we're gonna bring the right elbow on the outside of the left knee in prayer this really deepens the pose if you feel like it you can hold it for a longer time and let's bring the right foot in bending at the knee optional is a back bend here And release the hands down on the floor, tuck your toes under, go back into one-legged downward facing dog. Stepping back down. Take plank, release your knees down on the floor, bring your legs in front of you. Inhale your hands all the way over your head. Exhale, Paschimottanasana, forward bend. Flex your feet. Try not to hyperextend your knees here. If you're not sure if your knees are hyperextended in general, it's better to keep a slight bend rather than hyperextend and lock your knees. You never want to lock your knees. You may want to straighten your legs here and there in certain poses, but you never want to lock a joint. Inhale, coming out of it. Exhale your hands on the floor. Bend your knees round your back and slowly lower yourself down onto your back. Let's bring the hands by the ears. Here I'm preparing for wheel pose, but if you are not experienced with wheel pose or you're not comfortable with it, just go into bridge. If you are working in your practice on wheel, Chakrasana, feel free to press yourself up. For bridge and wheel pose, both extremely important to keep your feet hip width apart and parallel to each other. The most common mistake and it's um, really actually not beneficial to your body is to open, spread open your feet out. It just compresses your tailbone and your lower back actually. So it just puts your lower back in disadvantage. You don't want to create space, openness, elongation in your lower back. And release back down. Bring the right hand over your second chakra and the left hand over your heart. And just stay here for a moment. Feel the energy circulating between your hands an ellipse of energy circling between the right and the left hand and just inhale through your hands and exhale through your hands and let's bring both hands over the heart and lift your hand just a couple of inches over your heart great Bend your knees, give yourself a hug. You can rock side to side here. Feet together, lower your feet on the mat. And stay for a few moments. In reclining butterfly pose. shoulders to drop down, the belly to soften, 
the back of the head is white on the floor, the jaw is relaxed, the tongue is off the palate. Softening the adductors, the inner thighs. Exhaling, becoming heavier, sinking through the mat. Inhaling, opening the heart. The chest is expanding. Exhaling, becoming heavier and heavier. As if the ground underneath you is soft and you're just sinking through. Observing your breath here. And let's bring the hands on the legs and bring the knees together. Here we're gonna bring the right leg over the left leg and bring your legs over to your left in a supine twist. Look over to your right and switch sides. Looking over to the left side Exhale, soften the obliques here. Inhale, coming out of it. And I'm just gonna go into Sukhasana, easy pose. Bringing the hands a couple of inches over the heart. And just allowing the hands to extend energy and exchange energy with the heart. Circulating the energy between the hands and your heart. And allowing the heart to expand as you extend energy through your hands towards your heart. Nice deep inhalations. As you exhale, your sitting bones are sinking through your mat. head and over the third eye and over the heart giving gratitude to our hearts for their forgiveness compassion and love sealing the benefits of the practice today and if you feel like going into shavasana feel free to go into shavasana for as long as you need to 